What is up, my beautiful people? What is up, Miyaki in the building? <coughs> <coughs> Hello beautiful people, if this is your first time stopping by, Miraki here, you're welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, clap for yourself. So today I am going to be doing a foundation routine. I'm going to be showing you my foundation routine. I'm going to be showing you how I apply my foundation. So if you want to see how I apply my foundation and equally how I match my foundation, how I know my foundation shade, definitely keep on watching okay the essential thing in foundation application is the base yes it's the base from the name foundation we all know that a foundation is something that holds something it's something that enables something to hold or to last long yes so we are going to be laying the basis of foundation application just from the name foundation you're going to know it's a foundation for many other things the foundation is like a base of something so in this case we are learning how to apply our foundation for makeup now a good foundation needs to have a good foundation tautology right but just stay tuned, you're going to understand what I mean. Let's take it this way. Um, when we are building a house, have any of you ever gone to like a place where they are building a house, where they are about to start building a house? You're going to discover that they call it, they, they say they, before they begin building, they always like kind of dig, they dig the soil to like fill the soil with concrete, they fill the soil with, um, with uh, stones that is always the foundation of the house you, you I don't know if you understand me some preparations there have to be some basic things that they do in order to build the house okay and that is the digging the digging of the foundation right I don't know if you get me but that is the same thing when it comes to makeup foundation before you go ahead to apply a foundation you have to do some basic foundations <laughs> you have to do some basic stuff and that implies that you have to start with a clean base before you go ahead and apply a foundation you have to make sure that your face is clean your face being clean here means you have washed your face with clean water clean water yes if you're doing your makeup after showering good and fine for you but if you went out of the house and you came back and you were about to do your makeup at least go ahead and wipe clean your face with a with a wipe with a face wipe or a makeup wipe or wipe or why not go ahead and um, splash some fresh water on your face just to like give you that refreshing feeling you know before you begin applying your makeup equally we, for for a good foundation for our makeup we are supposed to moisturize Moisturizing, um, moisturizing in this case, it does not matter whether you are oily on the oily skin type or whether you are on the dry skin type, we have to moisturize, even if you have oily skin moisturized. And then the last thing here is priming. Yes, we have to use a primer. These are the three basic steps to have a good foundation, okay? Makeup foundation, that is just it. You cleanse your face, make sure you have a clean face. Makeup and dirt are not friends, okay? Make sure you have a very clean base, and then you have to make sure that you have applied some moisturizer, mm -hmm, and then make sure that you have applied a primer. Now, there are so many primers out there, you have to make sure that you get a primer that is specific to your skin type or your skin need, okay? There are primers out there for oily skin, for dry skin, hydrating primers for dry skin, and all the like. So, Cleanse your face, make sure you moisturize, and then make sure you prime. All these three on um, the moisturizer and the the moisturizer and the primer, you have to make sure you put these two a uh, like a pea size. You don't want to pack it on, you know. You don't want to put like as if you're oiling your whole body. No, put a pea size of moisturizer, distribute it all over the face, and put a pea size of primer. In between your moisturizer and your primer, you have to make sure that you leave at least three minutes or five minutes in between for the products to sink in. So what am I saying? After you apply your moisturizer, you have to make sure that you wait for at least three minutes. Apply your moisturizer and make sure that it sinks right into your skin and it's evenly distributed. And then you wait for at least two minutes. When it sinks in, then you go ahead with your primer, okay? You go ahead with your primer. Make sure you distribute it evenly also on your skin. And then when you're done, you allow it to dry down for at least five minutes. And then we can go ahead and apply our foundation. So, 
I went I went out and I'm back but I decided to film this um, tutorial right now but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean my face just to refreshen everything up and then I'm going to go ahead and um, apply my moisturizer and then I'm going to go ahead and prime so just stay tuned I'm gonna be coming back so to moisturize I'm going to I'm gonna clean my face with a facial cleanser that I've been using and then I'm going to moisturize with the Cetaphil moisturizer I'm going to put a picture up here Cetaphil moisturizer I'm going to use that to moisturize loves um, pardon my skin my skin is going through a lot I use a uh, certain product and it's been you know it's been acting up so but I've stopped already so okay before we begin let me moisturize my lips very important mm. smells good all right so like I said before I have already moisturized my skin as you can see Mm -hmm. And then I always use, I always in, in, I use these two primers. This is the Zikel Photo Fix, Zikel Cosmetics Photo Fix Primer. And then this is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Yeah, primer. So sometimes I use this, sometimes I use this based on how I feel that day. But as you can see from this, I use this a lot because it's somehow mattifying. And I mostly use it around my T-zone because I get oily mostly around my nose. These areas and then I put this one sometimes around but sometimes it's a lot of work so I just go ahead and I use one and today I'm gonna to be using this so I'm putting just the piece size yeah that's okay so you I find applying it with my fingers the best way so I use the remaining one and apply on my forehead Don't always forget your jawline, guys. So, while that is going on, I cannot just sit and wait for this primer to sit it to sink in. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use this tiny little fan of mine. I purchased this from um, Anti V. Yeah, if you want this fan, get to me. I'm gonna connect you and get it. So, I just use this mini fan just to like. I don't know if you can see. I just pass it over so that I can like hasten the the drying down process. You see? You see? This is a must have, okay? Must have for everybody. I'm going to leave the number of where I purchased this for you guys in the description box. So moving on to the next thing. So the next thing that um, you are to do after you have done your um, foundation application, that's the foundation, right? That we have just finished doing. The next thing is to match your foundation. Always try to match your foundation correctly. You don't want to use a foundation that is too light for your skin, okay? You don't want to do that, especially if you're going to be doing highlighting and contouring. You don't want to do, use a foundation that is two to three shades lighter than your actual shade. You want to use a foundation that is either a little bit darker, okay, or exactly your shade. For me, I hardly see a perfect match, yes. So, but that's why I did some swatches here of about five, foundations all are for Maybelline so I'm gonna be just showing you so the first foundation here this one here is um Maybelline Superstay foundation as you can see it's very very light it's for someone who is fairer than I am and then if you look here we have 355 355 and this 355 here it's still lighter and I've become a little bit dark so and then here we have here we have 356 this is a 356 here and as you can see it's it's still a little bit light but sometimes when i when i'm somehow lighter when my skin has gone on the lighter side that foundation goes perfectly then we also have uh, 350 this is 350 which is this one down here this is this is just this is a no-no for our for me yeah and for anyone that has my skin tone and then we have 360 360 is this one here as you can see it's kind of disappearing in that means that can be my shade 360 is actually darker a little bit darker than I am so I find it perfect to use because since I often do contouring and highlighting by the time I'm done with all these processes my makeup usually is perfect since I had a good base that wasn't that you know so let me just go ahead and try to blend blend it in so that you can see what I'm talking about you see it's blending in so like perfect right but all this, let me just see. No, 
It's a big no-no, okay? Can you guys see? So the second thing is to go ahead and do um, a matching for your skin. So I'll just go ahead and wipe this off. I'll just wipe this off and then with my wipe. And then I'll go ahead and apply my moisturizer again there and the primer. Then we can go ahead to the foundation application proper. So to apply our foundation, we are going to need just three things for our foundation. And that is, we are going to need a brush, of course. We are going to need this brush and a compact one at that. Then we are going to need a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. And then we are going to need a setting spray, okay? Now, you want to use, if you have oily skin like I do, this setting spray that I'm going to be using is just an extra step that I use just to that I, that I do just to like make sure my foundation lasts longer so to begin so we we, we said we are going to be going with the Maybelline 360 that is this shape so before you begin you want to apply you, you want to put place your your foundation at the back of your hand you have to put just a pea size you don't want to put so much okay this is just it's even enough it's, it's even so much so but you have to just put this size yeah it's okay you don't have to put so much okay you don't have to put so much even if you have pimples and they're picking through fine then for those of us who have discolorations you could go ahead and color correct but i do not have that much discoloration so i always just use my foundation and i'm good to go i don't want to put so many things on my face color correcting at the end of the day i have a cakey face yeah so i've just put the foundation here it's going to be warming up while i can now go ahead in fact let me let me if i have this i have this discoloration here so let me show you guys what i do uh when it's when i have a very a client's face that has this and it's so 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 clear because sometimes foundation cannot really like cover this so let me show you what i do okay so when i do talk about color correcting i'm basically saying you could take um LA Girl pro conceal in this orange shade or you could take one that is um i don't know green based on your color but mostly for those those of us with um those of us women of dark the darker skin we tend to use one that is orange so to cover this and any other mark you might have on your face i just put just a little bit like this you could go ahead around your eyes if you have some darkness or some redness going on there and I think that's basically just it. And I have a little bit here. And here. So that's just it. You do that and then I go ahead and blend with my finger. Just blend that in. Can you see how instantly it has diminished all the discoloration that I had this way? And then I just go ahead and blend this one on my eye. My eye is kind of dark. Blend it well until it's tacky. And that is it. Like, you see? So we can now go ahead and apply our foundation. So we have our foundation at the back of our hand. I just get some. And then... Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm stippling this in. Especially if you did this step. You don't want to, you, you don't want to do like this. You don't want to do like this with your foundation, dragging it all over. No, you want to, you want to press your foundation in like I'm doing. You want to focus on this side. You place it bit by bit. You focus on this side. You focus here first. Don't forget your jawline. I'm pressing it in. Are you seeing? I'm not swirling and I'm not dragging it like this. I'm just... When I see that it's evenly distributed already, I can now go ahead and take more and go on this side and repeat the same. So I'm not going to fast forward this. I'm just going to show you guys how long it takes to blend your foundation properly. Okay? So the video might be a little bit long. Okay? I'm coming down. How you guys see, like, it's, 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 it's kind of orangey, but it's going, to, it's going to oxidize and come down back. It's going to be a little bit darker later on. So, so my forehead, I don't really put a lot of product on my forehead, guys. But for my forehead, I'm just blending. I'm doing the same motion I told you guys earlier on. I'm just packing it in. Yes. 
My hair was done by my friends, guys. <laughs> she said she wants to try something on me, and I sat down, and this is what came out. Yes. I just take the rest, and then. So foundation, you have to be so so patient. If you know that you're not going to be patient to apply your foundation, don't even start the process, guys. You have to make sure you blend well. A secret to a flawless looking foundation or makeup is a well blended foundation. Okay. Any foundation for anything in life, for it to be strong, it needs to really, it needs to really be carefully, you know, placed. So that is basically what I am doing. Okay. So. Some people use just the brush like this and they're good to go. They go ahead and apply their powder and all the like. But for me, I know that if my foundation dries down, I'm going to have some of these hair strokes on my skin. So that is why I go ahead with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, yes. Um, I don't mean wet as in water dripping down. I mean damp as in damp, just damp. So I have put water. You can use warm or cold water. You damp it and then you squeeze every water out of it. And it's just, you know. So I now go ahead and I use this beauty blender again. I just go over my foundation. So this step for me, if I don't do this step, then I haven't done my foundation right. Yes, this step for me just helps to marry my foundation down. You know, this step helps my foundation to look more skin-like. It helps my foundation to last and it removes any excess product as you can see there's excess product on my sponge so it does help to remove all the excess products and voila i just blend and blend and blend and that is it for my foundation application okay less is more put little okay don't go and put uh, no matter the fact that this foundation is my my skin tone guys no matter the fact that this foundation fits me so well if i went ahead and i applied so much trust me it's going to Demarcate is going to show a demarcation all around. It's going to show that it's not my shape if I apply it so much So you have to really make sure that you use just a quantity that is enough. Okay, don't use so much It's just makeup. There's no problem if your pimple is speaking through. Okay, it's no problem So just make sure That you put just less so that you're not also going to feel like your face is heavy So that at the end of the day, you're not going to have a cakey face a cakey foundation And especially because I'm going to be going ahead to highlight my under eyes and all that good stuff So I don't apply so much foundation, okay? So For my last step After my foundation application, I always go ahead with a mattifying spray And in this case, I'm using uh, e.l.f. makeup mist and fix I'm using it to just spray over my face like so It's almost finished guys So I spray over my face and then I go ahead again with my mini fan yeah and then I just I pass it over pass it over for some minutes and then I just go ahead and blend that in again I didn't just spray the the, the spray and then went right it immediately and I started blending no because if I did that, maybe since it's still wet, it's going to like displace the foundation and maybe displace the color correcting that we did earlier on. So that is why I went ahead with my mini fan and I allow, allowed, allowed the, the setting spray to kind of dry down a bit before I went ahead now to blend. So this step for me too is so, so important, okay? It helps your makeup to last. It helps my foundation to last and to stay there for at least eight good hours. So, voila, my foundation is placed. My foundation is there. So you can see the difference, guys. My foundation is what really takes my time in my makeup. So I have to take time. Why is it called foundation? If, if it's called foundation, then the foundation has to really be solid, right? For every other thing to hold on to. So as you can see, mmm. So we are done here guys that is how i apply my foundation let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this foundation application if you learned something let me also know in the comment section and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you've not yet subscribed please don't also forget to subscribe support your girl okay support me by subscribing and also let me know in the comment section if you have any videos you want me to film any videos you want anything you want to know and you think i might be of help just let me know in the comment section then also, I'm going to show you the before of this foundation. I like this foundation because it's lightweight. 
and skin like so let me know i'm just going to show you guys the before and the after so this is my after foundation as you can see everything is flawless everything is flawlessly looking and everything is good yeah as you can see so i'm just going to insert the the clip of no foundation so you can see a big difference so i can now go ahead and apply if you were to go out of the house just after applying your foundation you can now go ahead and apply your powder at this stage everything is dried down okay another tip don't apply your powder on your foundation while it's still wet make sure your foundation is dry and tacky before you go ahead and apply a powder if you apply a powder on a wet foundation trust me it's going to form patches it's going to stand it will stand for one one place onto your face and they will not be uniform you get it hmm? So make sure you apply it when everything is dried down, okay? Love you all. See you all in my next one. Bye.